Welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophia, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. Let's dive in. Today's expression, 主打一个叉叉. Okay, so XX Chinese adopted to mean blank. And we pronounce it as cha cha because this crisscrossing sign in English, as an English letter, means crossing as well, right? In Chinese as well. We 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 but we use it as pronounce it as cha. Okay. 主打一个叉叉 means the cheap hit. Okay. Cheap hit. One piece. Totally doesn't make sense in English when we read it that way. But if you read it in Chinese, 主打一个 means the main hit, the main point, the main benefit for anything that's trying to sell you is blank, blank. Okay. And yeah, we, we cannot just use one blank. We have to use double to mean there are something to fill there. And I guess that shows in English, we just use one X to mean something to fill the blank in there, right? But in Chinese, we habitually use double next to each other. You, you see there's no even space in there because in Chinese, we often pair something, at least two characters together to pin down the meaning of something. And so, so most often Chinese expressions or phrases are, um, or translated into one English word it's going to be made of two Chinese characters. That's why it's cha cha, not just cha. Okay. So zhu da, this zhu is made of a candle. This is a candle holder with a candle light in it. It's very visual. And why it becomes a chief? Because in ancient, I guess, caveman living age, we don't have night light. So where are you going? You have to follow the candle light. You have to follow whoever is the light holder. So this light holder eventually becomes the chief, the leader, the one who has the vision, who show you where to go and you're following them. That's our Chinese definition of what is chief. Okay, da, we're, uh, we're having this five finger hand symbol. Uh, okay, today we don't have a three finger hand symbol, but okay, when we use five, when we express all five fingers, it's really pointing down to it's some action taken by your hands. It's a physical, um, it's almost like a kinetic category of hand motion. So in this case, it's hand hit, hit by hand. Okay, this hit thing and then is expressed by um, this is spear, um, not spear, spear, um, ancient weaponry that looks like a pointy at one edge and with a long staff and that you're going to use. So it's attacking, attacking by hand. That's a Chinese definition of hit. And this hand, it will say, okay, just five finger, why, why it's tilted? It turned out it's a differentiator because we have another character that's a hair which is fluffy, it looks similar to the hand symbol, and that thing got tilted toward the left, then we know, oh, it, it means a hair. Otherwise, the two things look the same, and in some, even if we put it in a context pair with another radical or something, it's still hard to figure out, to avoid confusion, somebody at this extra stroke to tilt toward the right to make it a hand. So attacking my hand, hit. And the hit in this stance, 主打, probably is a, a Chinese adopted English expression because when we say hit, the main hit in English, that's, that's like you as a listener be hit with this message. It's not a physical hit, it's audio and I guess influence type of hit. And so Chinese adopt that meaning using the hit motion, this attacking by hand to, to mean the influence wise. It's, it's not a physical hit anymore. It's hit you with a certain message. Zhuda, it's like the main message or the main benefit, right? The main song <laughs> you're singing, the high note, so to speak. Um, it's something blank, blank. So this one piece, 一个, in English, it will be something um, 
additional because in English we not we're not necessarily adding the count which is one the main hit right the one main thing here we may add but ku it's is a very Chinese phenomenon because Chinese habitually add the unit of measurement to a counter a countable thing so in this case it's e or yi ge, okay, it's, it's number one, just one unit of something, one dose of something. And we have to add this gu after it. Okay, this gu, you can see it's similar looking to that. Even if this is a weapon tree, it's a spear, and this is a bamboo. It's longer, it's probably, it could be another confusion thing in the future, especially when we have to shorten it or something. But this gu is, on its own, and you can see its shape, even if it's a similar looking, it's draping in a different way. So Chinese express plant with upward pointing the leaves in there as a plant. Bamboo is the only plant that in Chinese would give a special status where the leaves of bamboo are draping down. So, and a bamboo um, came in clusters. So Chinese use two of these. If you copy paste that, two of them, that's a bamboo symbol. But if you remove the cluster, single out, that is, that become the count as one unit of that, one piece. So one staff of the bamboo. Um, okay, so one piece is this blank thing. And 主打一个叉叉, okay. Since this blank is going to be filled by the contact, it could be, um, the main benefit is the convenience or the main 便宜, right? 主打一个便宜, or 主打一个方便, same, like ease of use. And in this case, you see here in this, um, I guess, internet novel, uh, it's like a spy, aspiring writer who write for free and, you know, a storyteller over there. And it's make up this story. It's a 主打. You can see 主打一个 is still there, and then this adds a little bit more. It's almost like a more affirmative about this one thing. That's one main benefit for this thing is pay back, and it become a gong, like become um almost like an internet uh, phenomenon of the, this expression 主打一个陪伴. Actually, 陪伴 means companionship. So what do you mean, like 主打一个陪伴? Uh, the main benefit is companionship. It's sometimes used in the dating culture in China uh, because dating can be costly, right? If especially, I guess, traditional culturally, a guy asks a girl out, the guy is expected to pay, right? It can cost a lot for the guy. In today's contemporary uh dating scene. So 主打一个陪伴 is a counteract to that. That means I'm not going to pay for you anything. I'm just paying with my time. I'm just here to be next to you. And if it works, great. If not, bye. Like there is no financial investment. It's only with your time, with your presence. That's 主打一个陪伴. And that's the contemporary Chinese use it. People almost say it in a joking way, or it could be a social phenomenon commentary. Um, when we say 主打一个陪伴, it's a guy's attitude. Like, I'm not footing your bills. I'm just here to spend my time with you. That's it. Don't expect more from me. <laughs> and that's 主打一个陪伴. All right, thank you for time. See you another day.